Hi everyone and welcome to Unity Reflect, how to download and install Reflect. First and foremost, we're going to want to have a Unity ID. So let's head on over to the Unity.com website. Go to the avatar, create a Unity ID. You will be asked for your email address in which to register this account. Once you have done that, you can then peruse the product you want. Today we're going to go for Unity Reflect. You can either get a free trial or you can buy a full license. Once you have done that, an email will be generated and sent to the registered address. The email would be as such from Unity Technologies, accounts at unity3d.com. Here is where you will get your Unity Reflect installer. So let's click down on the installer and make that download. As you can see, I already have it downloaded, but we'll go through the process. Okay, that has finalized and is now on my desktop. I'm going to close the website here and double click on our installer to start the process. The first thing you'll see when we load and run the installer is that it automatically selects all the plugins it can install to. As you can see on my desktop, I have installed Rhino, SketchUp, Navisworks, and Revit. And of course, it installs a viewer and the components that you need to run Reflect. You can choose whichever ones you would like now, or you can do modifications to the installation later by double clicking and rerunning this installation. For now, we're going to install everything. You might have seen a blank screen. That was Windows asking me if I wanted to make changes to my computer. Please say yes and proceed. As you can see, the operation has now completed, and I have two new icons that have been added to my desktop. These will be the Unity Reflect dashboard and the viewer. And we can see everything was done successfully. We'll click on finish and then we'll try to see what this looks like. So let's run Revit. So I've loaded up a model here in Revit. And the first thing we'll notice is that we have a new menu item on the top menu bar here in Revit. We have a Unity Reflect menu item and we have a few buttons that we're greeted with. One is for our dashboard. We can find the projects we have locally. We can find our settings and we can see what components I've installed and some of the activities. The next one is an export button. And this is the one that I'm really focusing on right now. And that is where I will want to create a project. I'm going to set it to be local. As you can see, I can do network or cloud. I'm going to name this test 001 and I'm going to create it. What you'll notice is that I have now populated a new item inside of my local projects, but I haven't actually exported it. There would be a green check mark on the side where my mouse is right now that says it has been exported. So let's do that right now. When we export, we will get a update bar right here, a little progress status bar that will let us know the progress of that export. Once the progress bar has finalized, it means that this is already set up and ready to go. I'm going to minimize Revit, and now we're going to open up the Unity Reflect Viewer. The first time you load up the viewer, you might be asked to log in, and it does use a web token, so be aware you might have to enable your pop-up blockers if you do have some. I'm already logged in, and I'll just go straight to it. Here is my test001 project that we just exported. As you can see, in very few steps, I have gone from creating a Unity ID to registering for a trial or a full version of Unity Reflect. Then I have downloaded, installed it. I have run the plugin from Revit, exported a model, and now I'm ready to do my design review and share this with the world. So hopefully those steps were easy and clear and you can be on your way to publishing and doing design review just like that. Thank you.